welcome to another episode of Simply Sarah. Today on the show, we're going to make semi homemade donuts. It's so easy. So, you're going to need a pop tube of some biscuits, um, name brand or off brand. Mine was an off brand from the store. The large, your large can. <clears throat> okay. Then you're going to take your your biscuit and make you a big hole in it. Make sure you make a big one because if you make a small one, they'll, you know, where they rise and bake in the air fryer we're going to be doing, they'll go back together as a biscuit. So you're going to preheat your air fryer on bake at 360. And then you're going to put however many you can fit in your air fryer at a time without touching each other. Mine is three. Two or three you could put. <clears throat> and then you're going to bake them for five minutes. Alright. Betty's going to go put these in there. And then I'm going to show you the next step. Alright. So these just come out. You're going to melt you some butter. And I find it's better to take a pastry brush. Let me put it over here. Um, and brush butter on instead of dipping. Because if you use dip, you use a lot of butter. So I just melted one stick. And that does two cans of biscuits. So make sure you get the sides. We're going to flip it. I'm going to go ahead and brush all these with butter. That way my fingers don't get, after I get start dipping in the sugar and whatnot, <clears throat> they're ready. Make sure you get your sides, because this helps to hear your cinnamon sugar on or your powdered sugar. Now, if you're doing a glaze, you don't have to worry about the butter part. Just make you a glaze, powder sugar glaze, or a chocolate glaze, or a maple glaze. I'll put recipes for all of them down in the description. You gotta scroll down. Okay, I'm not a regular sugar, so what I'm doing is a little bit of powder sugar with some cinnamon, and then just regular, a good powder sugar donut. So you basically, you just put it in here and get it all nice and coated. Make sure you get your your edges in the middles. And then there you have your donut. And then this one is my favorite. It's the sh uh, cinnamon sugar one. I love cinnamon. Sprinkle. Make sure you get... All edges real good flip it back over and then there you have your um, cinnamon sugar so you're going to keep doing that you're going to keep doing that and then of course if you use a thicker glaze or anything that you can do sprinkle so this is what they look like when they come out. Um, you can even take store bought icing and like the white icing or buttercream ice and chocolate ice and put it in a little bowl and heat it up a little bit to make it a little icing a little bit runnier and then you would take your donut and dip and then bring up, place down on a plate, sprinkle or whatever you want. Put nuts, whatever. Alright, I hope you like this little semi homemade uh, idea for a little quick treat whether it's for breakfast or you could do it for dessert or maybe you just had the grandkids up or your little nieces and nephews and you're playing with them in the kitchen all right see you at the next episode of simply sarah
Bye, everybody.